How's it going, everybody? Poser Mobile here, bringing you another absolute banger game that I'm taking a first look at. Today, we're taking a look at Raiders of Valhalla, a new dwarf auto battler roguelite, releasing this July from our buddies over at AFIL Games. All right, first things first, let's take a look at the specs you're going to need to run this thing. Yeah, so basically, as long as you're running this on anything beefier than, say, a toaster, you're good to go with this one. Some toasters might even be able to run it. As far as the settings in the game go, this is what you're looking at. Not a whole lot, but I guess that's to be expected given how little hardware you need to run this. Alrighty, so as far as your gameplay loop is concerned, when you start a run, you get to choose between three dwarves, which all have different classes and synergies. Warriors deal good damage and have good health, guardians have high health and high resistance, mages have low health and very high damage, etc. There's six unit types in total, and you can unlock more as you level up through completing runs. When you do eventually lose, your experience will be added to your meta level, which is what unlocks things like the ability to field more dwarves, buildings in your main base, unit types, relics, weapon and armor abilities, increases in your starting gold, and more. A big part of this game is the synergies. When you select the dwarf, they'll have a list of these, and the more units that you have with that synergy in your party, the stronger those synergies will be. You can see these on the left side of your screen. You'll have armor and weapons, which you can buy with gold or receive when finishing a wave, and these will all have randomly generated abilities on them as well. There's a ton of combinations here, so I'm not going to go super into detail about those, but just make sure when you go buy a piece of gear to make sure it's got an ability on it that you actually want. The further you progress in the game, you'll unlock the ability to get higher ranked weapons and armor, and those abilities on those pieces of gear will increase accordingly. Now, the actual gameplay is super simple. Once you've got your squad all set up, you get to pick between three different raid targets. Here, you can see how much gold you'll get, what the possible loot can be, and what the percentage drop rate is for it, as well as plenty of detailed info about the raid targets themselves. You can see what armor and weapons they have, as well as the abilities they have equipped with those. When starting off, I'll usually focus on either the highest gold reward or the highest percentage drop rate for a piece of equipment over anything else for a raid target, as I'll usually have a couple dwarves without any equipment. Once you enter the raid, it's all up to your dwarves. It's an auto battler, so the only thing you can do is watch and speed up time by pressing E and hoping for the best. If you win, great. You get to run again. If you lose, well, at least they tried. You'll get your experience added to your meta level and unlock some stuff, and you'll get to run it back. Better luck next time. Alrighty, I think that'll do it for me, everybody. It's not a super complicated game on its face, so you can totally jump right in and get to raiding right off the bat without putting a load of thought into it. But with how many roguelite systems there are built into everything in the game, you can absolutely get down into fine-tuning your dwarves to make sure you have the best shot at winning wave after wave after wave. Again, this is set to launch sometime in July of this year, so that would be sometime soon. If you enjoyed today's video, leave a like, comment down below what your thoughts are on this game, and subscribe to the channel for more content.